Anyway, that's when you do a Sheffield cover yeah. with Yorkshire tea in hand. <laughs> Hello, my name is Martin. Welcome back to another video. I'm in Sheffield and I'm about to be taken into one of Sheffield's small brooks, the Car Brook it is called, uh, and it's a culvert. And the reason I'm here is because we've got with us the Sheffield agent. The maestro. The maestro, Marcus is here. So he's about to take me on an adventure. Yeah. Um, apparently we're going down behind the camera, I'll show you. Right, so apparently we're going in there. Sounds exciting? Yeah, very excited. I'm excited. I'm thrilled. Yeah. I've only got today, I've only got my thigh waders on, so I'm hoping that that depth isn't going to be too deep for me uh, yeah. thigh waders. We've got a lovely weir here, beautiful weir there, it's called Brightside Weir. So this is the River Don. But anyway, look at this fish ladder. We're cutting to the weir to make a fish ladder, love it. So the fish can like go upstream and probably come down. I'm not a big fish expert. it is I'd like to go over there but I wouldn't recommend it at all and that is our tunnel and I'm hoping that that isn't deep that deep that I can't get in so we're going in there we're going in there look at him there <laughs> So thankfully we can get in this way here like this. <laughs> Got this spoon for me brew. So I wonder what that is. Some sort of infall, isn't it? Yeah. You didn't tell me about the step here. I've only got thigh waders on. Right, so what's that about? Is how deep does it go there? Yeah, that's as deep. Yeah. Right. Is that a tunnel? Have been it bricked is a tunnel. up? Uh, I have actually I've I have never looked at this. I don't I'm not actually sure what this is. Oh it's another penstock, isn't it? Big penstock. So there's a penstock, it might be a sewer overflow, what do you reckon? Could be. Weird the way that's there, isn't it? What what that puts... has been to lift the penstock, do you reckon? Yeah. What Probably. puts me off is this old arch. And around here they, they used to be they were very industrial. So they wouldn't use the water from the don. So it could be some sort of mill, could be anything, but you know, usually when you see things like this, it's usually sewer overflow. So we'll just, we're not going to say it is a mill. We'll just say for now it's a sewer overflow. Can I say what I think it might be? Yes. I think there's probably been a, some factory just up here. There's a new building there now. You can see there's a new building there. I wonder if there's been some sort of like factory and that's, it's taken in water off the don and that was the outflow. Either that it's an old, or it's an old sewer outflow. Oh, it's testing me waders this, it's testing me waders. Put wrong concrete here. Oh, yeah, right. I'm just all right here, just all right. And then there, uh, we've got the full flow of the dome there. From the weir. And fish ladder. Here he comes round. All right, just literally just. Okay, this is the deepest, the deepest we'll be today. Right, brilliant. Right, we're in. Journey begins. Um, I believe you're stood up fully. And look at me. Am I taller than you? No. Does it get? <laughs> does it get more stupid than this? 
Yeah. But it goes to six foot, and then a bit bigger, and then it goes to concrete box, and then it just goes concrete somewhere else along the way. But it, it does go, it's mostly six foot. Right, so it's getting more shallow, which is good. And we're going to get to some brick here now. Oh, nice. Manhole access there. Yeah. Well, have you ever tried that manhole? Uh, no, but you can get in by that. Because that will be a nice escape route if uh, Yeah. I just want you to imagine, this is one way in and one way out. Yeah. There are some manholes along the way, but we don't know if no they way. are, if they're openable or not. You know, if you got in trouble, you'd have to be shouting at the manhole, wouldn't you? Yeah. Out there, as you know, is the River Don. You can imagine a situation whereby the dawn starts to rise, the car brook starts to rise, if he came in here and it started to rain, yeah. I would imagine that tunnel down there would just be full. Yeah. And it's just, it's quite a section there. And I bet, it, I bet the water touches the ceiling. Yeah. Terrifying thought. I'll show you that actually. Okay. Follow me. We'll have to go back in for a second, but I need to show you something. Yeah? That's how high it gets. That's terrifying. That is terrifying. So what do you do now? If it's raining, yeah. what do you do? We won't even be tall enough to get our heads above the water. Nope. So, right, so like we say, so when it rains, don't, don't go, go in drains. drains. Right, we specifically picked the day, we checked the weather, we checked with the Met Office, no rain, no flash floods, it wasn't going to be a flash flood, there were going to be no flash showers, blue skies, so we picked this day for a reason. Next one, does it smell down here? No, it doesn't. This is a brook, it's fresh water, so there is no smell. So don't worry, it's not going to rain, there's going to be no flash floods, and there are manholes along the way, even though I said some of them don't open. I think there's, later we discuss it, there's three that do open, and we have escape routes. This can be quite, does have quite boring sections in it. So with the boring sections, I'm just going to cut those bits out, because a lot of it is concrete. And all I'm going to do is show you the interesting sections. Where's he gone? There he is. Apparently it's a long, long walk. So I'm not exactly thrilled about it, but I've been thrown that he's thrown down the gauntlet and offered me the challenge again. So, car broke. Let's see where it goes. Okay, so a bit of general information about this culvert we're about to go in. It's two miles long, just about two miles long. I've not exactly got the entirety of it, but it's just about two miles long. We're going to go under quite a few things. We're going to go under the Car Carbrook Retail Park. We're going to go under the Gripple, which is literally just behind us there. We're going to go under Darnall. Well, that's, that's where we come out in Darnall. So we're going to go quite go. We're going to go quite a distance in this culvert. So yeah. Meanwhile, back in the culvert, it's gone much more shallower as you can see, and we've got a definite rise uphill. So I can imagine back in the day, this car broke ran down the Don Valley and joined the River Don when things were much more rural and Sheffield was a younger place. Uh, that's the impression I get. And obviously now that we're in a, a tunnel, we've just got, we just detect this slight rise and the water level gets shallower as we move away from the Don. I think we might be getting the shallower up ahead. like a layer of scum on the floor, very slippy. It seems to be washed off, so I'm quite lucky. That's not slippy anymore. Have we got a really on gas meter? There it is. Rory, Rory on gas meter. Just the same thing. We've got the gas meter with us because we are in a confined space and there are a couple of sewer overflows that join this brook, this culvert. 
not in use at the moment because water levels are very low and there's no rain forecast. But uh, we've got it with us uh, just for safety and it will come into its own shortly. However, we're about to go into a bit of a challenging section. Yeah. Not the most challenging section. All right. Oh, thanks for that. <laughs> so that's to come. So yeah, onwards. So we're going to some square uh, concrete piping now. Yeah. Also, there's a pop. There's actually a pen stop valve we get to see. All right. We'll go over that in a bit. Okay, so just before we go into this next section that damn near killed me, and I still can't walk proper now, um, my legs are killing me. Obviously, we're in Sheffield this week, and we're in the just, I think it's the northeastern part of Sheffield, along the River Don, uh, in this area here. And you'll just see the weir coming into view where we got into the river. That weir in the River Don is called Brightside Weir. You can just see on Google Earth there the... Um, the fish ladder and the tunnel for the car brook um, and there's some new buildings there and we go roughly that way sort of heading out of the Don Valley on that very slight incline that I told you about anyway you're about to see uh, the box section that nearly killed me but just uh, we're going to turn to the left and Marcus is going to show us this large penstock this kind of gate mechanism and he's going to tell us about it Ooh. So we've got an escape route there on a penstock. So you're going to tell us about that penstock, Marcus? Yes. Yeah. So this penstock, behind the penstock is the original route of the car brook. It actually got diverted in 1970s. It used to go through quite an arduous route. And so that, behind that is the continuation of the car brook? Yes. So you're saying that's new? Yes, this is new. And it used to go along here? Yes. And suppose they opened that in times of flood? Is that right? Possibly. Right. Looks like it uh, can still be open, doesn't it? It's yeah. quite uh, oily and everything. Oh. We're going to put the camera underneath the bottom of it there, because there's a gap, we'll see what we can see. Quite clean concrete pipe, but that goes to the old outfall that we're going to go to, and at the other end of that, it's absolutely horrendous. So it starts clean and ends up sort of like something else. Just while we're here, you're going to show us the old outfall of this place, aren't you? Yeah. So these, these brooks get messed about with a lot, don't they? And yeah. they get diverted and culverted and sent here, there and everywhere. Yeah. And there's a very old outfall yeah. um, that goes out into the River Don, just further down from where we got in. Yeah. So let's go and take a look at that. Okay. I don't like the look of it, <laughs> but we'll have a look at it. Right. right, we're heading to this old outflow that Marcus wants to show us. Losing light now. Okay, so this map is uh, around about 1895 to 1914. And talk about these brooks getting messed about with and redirected and uh, reculverted. Here you'll see the green arrow at Brightside Weir. And that's the current outflow into the, um, the River Don. That's where we got in. But if you look towards the top of the map the red arrow you'll see a little spur just coming in off the don just just above the red arrow that's the old outflow into the uh, the river don um and it's just towards the left there there's a bridge called brightside bridge now marcus has very kindly uh, a bit done a bit of sleuthing and dug us out a, a map from 1741 take a look at this okay here we go it's 1741 the white arrow shows the car brook heading towards the River Don. You might be able to just follow the car brook along there. It's very difficult to follow. And it's heading towards where the Green Arrow is at Brightside Bridge. Uh, and that's just showing its original route where it would have come out into the Don. Obviously, it's been shortened somewhat. Um, but that, that culvert or that it eventually got put in on that original route is still there. And we're going to go and see that outfall. Now, I think this, this, this outfall is only used in times of flood. Probably not being used for donkey's years, as you'll be able to tell. But uh, let's carry on our journey. Almost like a railway bed, this, you know. Almost like ballast on it. But walking on. Yeah, so when I got back home, I couldn't help myself. I had to look into it. There's Brightside Way where we got in. We walked down five years walk. We crossed that, is it Weedon Street there? I went up by um, 
the side of the river there and then we went over what seemed like an embankment so I had to go on rail map online press the old railways button to bring up yeah it used to be a railway but you've seen that already on the old maps haven't you but this is what I had to do just to investigate and double check that we were actually walking on the railway anyway let's crack on look at that that looks horrible but, uh, I'm not sure about going in this tunnel you know it looks shit Right, so there you go. Takes As you can see, we're losing light big time. Yeah. Um, so we need to get this done quick. So that's the old outfall. So that goes up there, and up there is just standing water, isn't it? Yeah. And it joins somehow what we've just come out of. Yes. So, yes. I'm What's asleep. it like down there? Is it muddy or what? Oh. See the light? Is it alright? Oh god. Uh, it's solid. Is it? Got my gas meter, so I'll be alright. If that goes off I need to, to come out like fast. Yeah. So does that go so that goes on now to the don, does it down there? That goes on to the don. Yeah. And this is the old outfall is which old is outfall. just standing water. Shotgun over here. Walking in. Right. Look at that black. So it doesn't look good that does it? Yeah. In fact it looks bloody horrible. But you can yeah. see it's very old. Right, I'm gonna venture up here now. Let's go. Standing stagnant water with mud that gets deeper and deeper. I got a bad vibe about this tunnel and so did Marcus. So eventually he was beaten back and he had to come out because of that thick, horrible, gaseous mud. A low box section bit. And he's telling me it's not very long. No. So you go around the corner, uh, and then you go around another corner, and then you're in a chamber. I can Wait, hear. And it splits into two. I can hear voices. That's our echo. Echo! I don't think it is, but let's crack on. All right. I kind of chose a kind of a crouch walk, a kind of a waddle, and it killed my legs, this section. That was horrible. And we're not over yet. Hold another short section. Still got to do that. Walking like a duck. Apparently, if going to win, this will make a man of me. Yes. <laughs> so we're now in a chamber. Yeah. So which one are we taking? This one. Right, the one to the left. Hang on a sec. This is where we get to have a little shower. So, a bit of story about this section. When they built the arena, the, uh, I think it's the utility arena. Is that like Sheffield's main big venue? Yeah, pretty much. They actually dug into this section and that's why a lot of it spray created. Because when they were building above it, they actually dug into the culvert itself. You had to actually strengthen the entire section that's under the arena so that's why this spray crate on here there right. you go wow so we've got a little shower ahead yeah you're all dripping <laughs> i'm dripping with sweat i think i've seen a picture of this and uh yeah it's quite interesting isn't it yeah well if you want a shower oh my god it's got worse oh bloody hell Yo, oh. oh. oh, what are you doing? Oh. Did it, did it, did it. Yeah. Oh. Pretty nice. There's a fair old drop there, isn't it? Yeah. 
So I'd say about uh, 15, 20 foot, something like that. So another long section of concrete, occasionally flicking to brick. And this is why I've had to heavily cut this video because this here now, me stomping along here is the reality of this culvert. This is what most of the two miles look like. So I'm just going to now, from now on, just show you the interesting features. So how much further? Coming out, maybe. Yeah. We'll see. Is that a Sheffield kilometre? Yeah. <laughs> so, a thousand metres. Yeah. I took, we've been walking a bit just now. I told you it was a Sheffield kilometre, didn't I? This is weird. This is very weird. Why? That's something coming round the pipe and one. springing up, isn't it? Yeah. Now it's not raining outside, so I don't understand that. No. Oh, look at that, what's that? Oh, wow. You've seen that before, surely. Yeah, oh, penstock. Penstock. You're not going in, are you? Yeah. Well, no way. Yeah. It goes up and there's a chamber. <laughs> what? There's a chamber right there. For God's sake, Marcus. It's only a little thing. Right. right, go on, go for it. Let's have a look, shall we? Keep it steady. They don't call him the drain maestro for nothing. He leaves no stone unturned. He had to take a look. So it was just a shaft with a ladder in and a penstock. That's that gate thing uh, you can see just be behind him there. That uh, kind of like liftable uh, sideways manhole cover, I like to call them. Penstock so as we approach another one of these chambers that are actually quite... I love the engineering in these things. I really do. Um beautiful brickwork but as we approach this i've got uh, a picture showing one of these being uh, under construction uh, and it's actually on the car brook marcus found it it's from the 1950s so i'm aware um, when they were doing a lot of the work and and, and culverting this thing and redirecting its route just look at that brilliant to be able to find that i'm not saying it's the one that we're in now but it's definitely one of the ones we've passed through and this picture here shows one of the uh, dreaded RCP, reinforced concrete pipe, sections being built. Max is just trying to get a signal there to see what weather's doing outside. <laughs> Off he goes. I am okay. What's the weather like? Uh, well, blue skies. So... Blue skies? Yeah. So we're all right. What is that? Is that something bricked up? Yeah. But you can't see the bricks because of all the ochre. Yeah. It's just that screw. That's interesting that why all the oak is there. I'm going to duck here now because the big spiders went there and you can't see on camera. Now just to jump out for a second, at the beginning of this video I showed a map with an arrow on. A very straight arrow that showed an as the crow flies um, view of the route we were going to take. And of course in reality, it isn't like that. This is an old map that we're going to take a look at now. And uh, I'm just going to show you the, the, the meanderings of this, this brook. This is dated 1892-1914. We're actually going to start down here. This is, um, where are we? Catcliffe Road. This is where our journey today is going to end. And we're going to shortly going to get there. This is Catcliffe Road. And you can see our brook running this way um, along here. And then, strangely, it takes... It takes a, a diversion there. See, it says car brook there. Diversion here, overflow. So there's all sorts of things. This brook's been tampered with, messed with over the years. We run this way underneath the farm. Car brook, we carry on through a very industrial area. And interestingly here, we go underneath uh, the canal. Now I wonder, you know where we got the shower? Marcus kept saying we're gonna get a shower. I wonder if the, one, of the, one of those 
Probably the later one was an overflow from the canal, not unknown. It's difficult to know which one it was um, of those overflows that came in. And you'll see we go underneath the railway there, probably heavy, heavily culverted during this period as we went underneath a, a railway yard there. And we're getting towards the, uh, the start of the journey now. Um, and you'll see suddenly it meanders along here and suddenly bang big long straight section so even many many years ago it's been culverted there then we kind of lose it at one point it's ran along there in the culvert probably that original section but now somewhere it goes along here to Brightside Weir where we got in but the old route took that way down there and of course goes to the old outflow which is down there very difficult to follow to to track what's gone on there will be plans somewhere in the waterworks is um uh, archives that say what happened to it but as just someone that, that walks into it from here it's difficult to tell where uh, what what they've done over the years but interesting to look at the old map and, and show its route have you been this far before no so this is unknown territory no and up ahead there's a split yes and it looks very long I would never know to do this sort of thing, but what do you reckon it's not far? I mean, if you look down this one, you can see where it joins back up. Right, okay, that's a look. I thought pastries when we done this. <laughs> well deserved. <laughs> apple pastries? Yeah. Well, thank you, Auntie. <laughs> do you like apple pastries? Yeah, they're all right, yeah, with the brew. I should be doing this at my age. Good for you. Like a, like a Sheffield man, of me. So Stones in here. Right, okay, I don't even know if I can film this bit. Um, I'm just going to film it. Oh my god. I'm glad this isn't long. So with the promise of apple pastries and the fact that we were near the end and that it would make a proper man of me, I'd be a respected Yorkshireman and I'd be a respected drainer. Mark has used probably every trick in the book to convince me to crawl down here. I eventually did it. It was hellish and another reason why my legs took about five days to recover. Should have brought knee pads. Well, if I'd have known, I'd have brought them, wouldn't I? Yeah, well. I'm only kneeing this bit because it's smooth, otherwise I'll tear my waders. Oh yeah, because of all the... Uh, stones, because of the beach, basically. Yeah, this for you. Bit of a dip. It's caught the stones. If I can strain my straw, I hate you. And that better be a bit where I can stand up. No, it's not. Joking, I think it's stuck all the way to the end. I, I, you think I'm joking? I'm not. Can I stand up here? Yeah. I can't see because it's blind. Another wonderful brick chamber. I do love these chambers. They're just wonderful. Anyway, as you see this. The right hand pipe there goes along, it's a relief pipe that goes along and it passes over the top of the left hand uh, pipe and then rejoin back up. As Marcus says, it's very complicated. It's very complicated. Sheffield style tight lad, it'll make a man of you. Right. <laughs> I think we deserve a brew though, don't we? You do get worried when you're in that tunnel that it's, it's started to rain inside because it would be horrendous, wouldn't it? Yeah. And I imagine if the dawn went up, you saw where we came in, if the dawn went up, it'd close off that entrance, wouldn't it? And it'd be like, hold your breath and try and swim out. Yeah. Well, look at a rag. <laughs> nice rag so we're going to have a brew now because we deserve it, don't we? Yeah. Oh, have you made them? No, in your country garden. Of course it is. <laughs> of course. Okay, so where are we? Well, where did, where did we end up? Darnell, 
that's where we are. Darnell in Sheffield. Catcliffe Road, and that's where we are. I'm being a bit lazy here because I didn't go to it. I'm just going to show you on Google Earth. There's the uh, car brook, and we're at that bit there. We're underneath that cage, that infall to the long culvert section. Let's just go down to street level there and take a look. I thought it was like a main road we were at, but we're not. We're in this area here. And you'll just see there's the cage section that we're stood underneath there now having a brew. Um, to the right, further upstream, um, just this way, it goes back under another bridge and into another culvert. There it is, under the bridge, and then it goes to the right there and eventually into another culvert. Uh, and it goes on, the whole length of the brook is five miles, and the source is somewhere called Manor Top in Sheffield. Thank you to our agent in Sheffield for showing us along. Yep. We'll get him into Manchester and do some of the uh, interesting drains over in Manchester yep. as well. So, from Sheffield in a kind of a, a cage. Yeah, <laughs> in a cage, a couple of rags. Oh, and well. thankfully it's a sunny day because it's, uh, it's not... If it was raining, it'd be horrendous. We've got to go back now. He's filming for his channel on the way back. I'm going to get some photos. Thanks for watching. Take care. See you in the next video. Bye for now. Bye-bye. <laughs> no matter where you right. are, you can always work out. Here we go. Ready? Ow! Oh, for God's sake. Hold me, hold me brew, lad. Oh, my echoes. Bear in mind, I've just done two. One and a half. <laughs> oh, my brew. Oh my beer. Here he goes. There's one. There's one and a half. <laughs>